Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It's Naya. Uh, we are in week 37, so we got a new do. Uh, I participated in a St. Baldrick's Foundation uh, event that uh, I shaved my head in, to raise money for childhood cancer research, and I raised a total of $110 to get this fancy haircut. So I feel it was a success. Thank you to anybody out there that may have donated. Uh, so, this week we are talking about uh, things that have been hard for us as partners to deal with during transition. So, uh, for me personally, pre-transition, because Taryn and I have been together for over nine years, and Taryn has only been on T for about nine months, so pre-T uh, was a really hard time for me. There was a lot of talk for a really long time uh, and so that created a lot of anticipatory anxiety for me. Uh, I think I, I created fears and things that I felt I was going to have a hard time with such as voice changes. Um, oh my gosh I'm drawing a blank. Voice changes, um, facial hair, um, muscle and fat redistribution, all those types of things, um, just his appearance in general changing, that it, it, I felt those things were going to be hard for me. How was I ever going to deal with that? Um, but we talked, and we talked, and we talked, and we watched um, other YouTube videos, and we watched um, movies, you know, just documentaries, I shouldn't say movies, documentaries, and we did research. And I became more and more comfortable with the idea of these changes. And at this point now, I feel like everything that I was afraid of, um, or I was afraid that I was going to have a hard time with, has been kind of put to rest and everything's been good. And transition has been easy, dare I say, um, in, in many ways. It feels all very natural. I think that's a good way to put it. Um, so, yeah, all pre-transition stuff was pretty hard. I remember the very first time Taryn uh, ever shaved his face, uh, he, I, I cried, I cried and I cried, because just the idea of losing that baby soft uh, peach fuzz was, was hard. And so I thought, oh, when it grows back, it's going to be all rough and coarse and I'm never going to be able to have that soft skin again. Of course, I was wrong. Um, and now, now that he is on T and he is getting real facial hair, and when he does shave it, it is kind of coarse. It's not that bad. It's not. Um, so, that was, that was tough. Um, let's see. I think the other thing that really actually has been kind of hard um, is gender segregation. You know, not being able to do things that for so many years we did together um, and now we can't do them because they're gender segregated events or or like restrooms even it's like baby showers I go he doesn't uh, bridal showers or bachelorette parties I go he doesn't um, and vice versa there are events bachelor parties he goes I don't um, and so the, getting used to those things is really hard. Uh, I miss I miss our bathroom time. <laughs> you know, just a buddy to go to the bathroom with. So that that's tough. Um, I as far as um, socialization or my identity, that has not been too tough on me. Uh, I identify as queer, even before lesbian never quite fit for me, so I, queer, queer is good, um, and I don't ever want to lose that title, no matter who my partner or what they look like, I don't want to lose that, I definitely don't want to fit into a straight people box, uh, it's just not who I am, I mean, look at me, <laughs> I, I don't look straight, we joke oftentimes that with my masculine appearance 
in Taryn's masculine appearance, yet sometimes flamboyant ways, that we are going to look like uh, each other's cover, which was terrible, but yet fantastic at the same time. Uh, so, I just, I, I, I have a hard time with the idea that some people, as, as much as I feel we look queer, um, that some people out there might actually identify me as a straight female, and that is a hard thought and a scary thought, and I hope that, I don't know why, but I just hope that people don't view me that way. It's not who I identify as, so therefore I guess it's not who I want to be seen as. But I think that as long as I am who I am, it doesn't really matter either way. <laughs> so I, I really try to keep that outlook on life in general, that I could give a shit what people think about me, as long as I'm happy, and what I'm doing doesn't harm other people. I can give a shit. Um, so yeah, I guess that's, that's really about it. So, um, I will see y'all next week and have a good week. Bye.